In this video, I'll show the changes for Evergrowth Alpha 202, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. This time, I focused on the dialogue editor to create scenes with changing poses, text, and camera angles. It's still really rough, but it's a pretty good prototype so far. The main goal was to figure out a workflow that would be efficient and easy to learn for modders. Here's how it works. First, you create a text file and write the script, with each line specifying which character is speaking, what name is displayed, and what they're saying. Then you add tags at the top to specify the name of the scene and how many characters are in it. Next, you load up the level in the editor and go to the New Dialog tab to load your scene. If you select it and press Edit Dialog, it shows the lines of your script, which you can select with the arrow keys. You can press Preview Dialog to play out your script. It would be a lot more interesting with a character, so you can spawn one and use Alt-click to attach it to the Player 1 slot. If you toggle Recording, you can start to block out the scene. These cubes are used to set the position and rotation of each character in the shot. As you move them around, you can see that it alters the script to reflect your changes. The camera preview shows how it will look, the line specifying where the text will be, and safe zones showing what might get cropped in different aspect ratios. You can drag and resize the preview window to see how different aspect ratios might look. The camera can be moved and rotated like any other object, but you can zoom in and out by scaling up and down. Once you're happy with your first shot, you can use the arrow keys to go down to the next one, and so on. You can also load poses for each character by selecting them, pressing Load Pose, and selecting an animation file. You can then further refine the poses using these eye, chest, and head controls to specify the direction the character is looking or facing. The size of these controls specifies how much influence they have, except the eye control, where the size controls how open or closed the character's eyes are. That's most of the dialogue editor prototype so far, though there's a lot of work left to do on it. For example, I started on this Pose browser using the Spawner interface, but the buttons aren't actually hooked up yet. While working on the Pose browser, I did add a feature that modders might find useful. If you press F8, you take a screenshot with the train and sky removed, so you have a nice transparent background. This is great for creating thumbnails for the Spawner. You can also take screenshots through a selected camera if you want to take a shot that's not possible with the normal camera. That's it for this video. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, and get a free copy of Receiver and Low Light Combat, you can do that at wolfhire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at wolfhire.